Hello everybody, this is Purge. I'm bringing you guys a little bit of a product review. Um, as you do probably remember, uh, I'm going to be casting the GameCon Plantronics tournament that's coming up uh, actually this Tuesday night, I believe. I think it's on Tuesday. Uh, the 5th, yes. Uh, February 5th, coming up next week on Tuesday. I'm going to be casting the uh, three best of threes, I believe, for the GameCon Plantronics Dota 2 tournament. Now, if you remember, I made a video talking about their headsets. Well, they sent me some in the mail, so if you guys want to take a look at these, you can. Um, they sent me one of the GameCom 780 Dota 2 editions. Uh, this is the less expensive headset. It's uh, running around $80, I believe. It also comes with the in-game Dota 2 uh, Battle Fury, which uh, you can kind of see it on the side of my screen. Oops, it's like over here. Like right there, you can see it. I'll show you in a second if you guys want to see it in-game. Um, but it looks really sweet. Um, it comes with the headsets. This is their less expensive version, the 780. Um, I'm not going to open this up, but you guys can kind of see it. Uh, it has a Dota 2... Um, thing that you put uh, around the top of it and pull that out and show you guys it's not necessarily on the headset but it comes with these little like uh, things that come out and it says dota 2 on it it's got velcro you can put it on the top of your headset headset um, or if you want you can do this one it's just says gamecom so that is the 780 dota 2 edition once again comes with the battle fury and I also have the other one, which is called the Commander, I think. Uh, yeah, the Dota Gamecom Commander Dota 2 Edition. I have one of those. I haven't actually opened it yet. I'm going to unbox it for you guys. If you want to see what it's like, it comes in this really fancy box. There's a number on it. I don't know what the number means. Um, and there it says uh, ESWC official headsets. So I had trouble opening this on stream yesterday. I like, briefly showed you guys if you happen to catch it there. But this comes off. It's got like a little thing and it, it's in this thing. I haven't opened this yet. This is, this is as far as I've gotten before. It has like a carabiner on it. This is serious shit. I have I don't know how to get this open. I'm gonna guess that I have to do the old carabiner, which I do know how to use. Um, this might take a second, like at least one second, because I don't think I know what I'm doing. Uh, was that helpful? I am really not sure. Oh my god, this is like a puzzle. This video is going to be like 8 minutes long now. Alright, this is the first thing I'll do. I'll pull some slack out. I can open this. And, okay, I've got it. I got it, guys! Yes! Mystery solve. Check that out. Rubber band. And, I mean, alright, and like, why would you not buy this? Like, look at this rubber band. This is like the nicest rubber band I've ever had. There, shot something. Okay. So, it comes with a carabiner. If you guys are into carabiners, this is for you. And I will open up the case. Comes with a nice case. <coughs> and there it is. Alright. So. Nice, it comes with an audio adjuster. The last sets that I had, for some fucking reason, didn't include one. It was the most ridiculous shit I'd ever seen. Um, so, uh, has nice leather ear pads. There's not a whole lot of space for the ears, it looks like, but... I'm guessing the audio quality is going to be fantastic. It looks like it has pretty huge speaker areas. There is top padding. I can change the branding on the top similar to what's happened with the other one. So if I want, I can pull off this thing that says Gamecom. It still says Gamecom on it. This is just kind of like a band that goes over the top. Yep, and there if I pull in, look in this little compartment here within the bag, you guys can see that. Ugh. Ugh. So it's in here, all these little things in here. This is the Battle Fury right here. Which I'm definitely not giving you bastards. I now have two Faces Void Battle Furies. This is a good thing, because I have two of them. It's a bad thing because now everybody wants to be friends with me, because I have two Battle Furies. I don't know who actually wants to be friends with me, so... So I can pull out the Dota 2 thing, and... I am... Oh, I see. Alright, so this part Velcro rips off. And then I can put the Dota 2 thing on it. So now it says Dota 2 can put that on here and bam we have got got myself an officially branded dota 2 headset this goes on here and bam okay cool. dota 2 headset awesome stuff let's do the old test feel is this left or right i don't know there right okay here we go so it just sits on my head like that i have a mic if i need to go casting with it it is not really like fitting to the confines of my head just yet, but that is it. So Gamecom Commander Edition Dota 2 headset um, goes to a... I don't know what the component this is. This is interesting. I've never seen that before. But it connects to other stuff, I'm sure, yeah. Here's the USB 
connector. This plugs in right here, I'm assuming. Yes, indeed. And uh, then that just goes to an audio jack, and I don't know why that has this USB thing. Oh, this is just like tied to it. Okay, so this is a little plug an audio jack into this thing, which uh, lets me control audio, and then it goes to USB, is what is going on. I don't know if this pulls out. Yeah, this pulls out. So there we go, nice little USB plug-in. And it also comes with a different audio type, it looks like. That way I can go straight from headset into like an iPod if I need to. It's got audio jacks here. I can go straight to PC without having to go uh, yeah, straight through USB. So that's cool. All right, so I've got two little other options. That is the Gamecom Commander headset. And uh, if you guys want to check those out, the website is gamecom.plantronics.com. And I know what you guys want to see right now. It's a Battle Fury. Oops. So let's make my webcam really small. There it is. Featured hero. Let's uh, go into the... Loadout. Oops, show player items. Back. I'm gonna make this bigger. Alright, screw it. I'm loading up a game really quick here so you guys can see it. It looks pretty sweet in game. That's not what I wanted to press. What did I just press there? Uh, AP? AP? Okay, good. Load! I'm definitely gonna use the Battle Fury. I love the Time Breaker, but like the Battle Fury looks so cool. It looks so cool. Come on, let this just load already. All pick. Faceless Void, Battle Fury, play. All right. Have seen how this war ends. See, in this way you don't even have to farm a Battle Fury, you just like have it immediately. Let's do spawn, oh shit, I don't think I put, I didn't put cheats on. Oh well, yes. whatever, I won't be able to show you guys hitting it. It looks cool when you swing it and stuff. I'm sad that I messed that up, but I don't want to make this video an extra uh, minute long. But you guys will see it soon. I'll make a Faces Void gameplay soon. I tried to play one yesterday. It didn't work out. It was too much of a stomp. So um, you will see the Battle Fury soon in game. Thanks everyone for watching. And uh, make sure you tune in next Tuesday to me casting the last three sets of the GameCon Plantronics Dota 2 tournament. Tuesday night, it's going to be at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time, U.S. time. That is 7 p.m. Central, and I'll convert that to CET for you guys, which is um, Central European time, I believe. That should be nine hours forward from me, so I hope you guys are going to be up late. Um, that is going to be 5 o'clock is 17, so 9 plus that gives me 20, 25, which is 1 a.m. So that's going to be 0, 01 CET, I believe. Uh, one, 1 CET is what time I'll be casting that. So if you guys are Euro, you probably won't be able to make it. Because I'm going to be casting for probably up to, what, nine hours? No. It's three best threes, it could be, hypothetically. Except it's replay, so it should be faster. Anyways, that's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh god. All time. Ugh.